I want to emphasize that the Intercultural Innovation Award Ceremony is not an end in itself. It is a building block in a constructive process in which we work together to support the recipients of the award and help them expand and amplify their projects around the world. The award started in 1997. It was initiated by the BMW Group at the time. And then around 2010, we were approached by the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations, and they asked us if we wanted to partner up with them to actually move the award to a new dimension, um, going international. And that, I believe, is what we achieved. We are today, there are awardees, about 50 of them around the world. We are impacting over 99 different countries. And what's incredible, we have actually tripled the number of beneficiaries that are actually being impacted by these awardees. The world is facing uh, so many challenges which require a collective effort by everyone. Not only governments, not only United Nations, not only regional organization. This is the only way to eliminate today with so-called extremism, terrorism, which the world is, is really facing with a new ideology, try to divide people, then bringing people together. It's an honor to announce the honorable mention, the Crossroads Project, Yat Madid. Encontrarse en la diversidad, meeting in diversity, Argentina. Global Enterprise Experience, Education Trust, New Zealand. Play to Talk, Games for Peace, Israel. Unleash Tunisia Venture Bus. Young Leaders Entrepreneurs, Tunisia. Transforming Pastoralist Farmer Conflict in Nigeria. Knitting for Conservation, Awakuna from Ecuador. Buddy Up, a school-based peace-building approach. Safarni, Egypt. First awardee this year, Peace Rickshaws Project from Pakistan.